All right, let's have a look at this one. So number one, let's define this big F function F. That's an x squared minus 2y squared plus z squared plus yz minus 2. Well, of course, that's equal to 0. And, well, let's find the gradient first. So nabla f, that's um, the partial derivative of this madness with respect x. Well, we only have one term that depends on x, and that's the first one. So that's uh, 2x. And for dif to differentiate with respect to y, careful because it was number one, that first term with the second term actually, that's uh, negative 4y. But this last term, yz, what's the partial derivative of yz with respect y? z. So we're differentiating y. The derivative of y to the first is just 1 times the multiple constant. I know it's kind of, it's still kind of weird, right, to get used to constants that are letters. So that should be plus z. And finally, the derivative with respect z, that's a 2z, and um, plus y. Because in this case, well, uh, z would be the, the multiple, con I mean, y would be the multiple constant. <laughs> and let's evaluate. Let's evaluate this at the corresponding point, that is 2, 1, negative 1. So this will be 2 times x, which is 2, comma negative 4 times y, which is 1, plus the z value, which is negative 1, and 2z, which is negative 1, plus y, which is 1. So let's simplify this. That's going to be a 4. Is that negative 5? And is that a negative 1? All right. So that's the vector. Well, I'm not going to write the whole formula this time. So this time, I'm just going to write this as the coefficients of these parentheses. That's 4 parentheses x minus something plus, or actually minus, 5 y minus something and minus 1 times z minus something equals to 0. So that's going to be x minus 2, y minus 1, and z minus negative 1. Isn't that going to be a z plus 1? And, well, let's just leave it like this, you know. That's fine. Okay. However, some of you, I, I, I see some of you did all the distribution and all that, what you got? Okay, so you got 4x minus 5y minus z equals 2, that's negative 8 plus 5, is that negative 3? And then minus 3, minus 1, is that negative 4, so equals to 4, positive 4, right, on the right hand side. Yep. 